What's happening guys, what's going on? Welcome to another beautiful day on planet Earth. Thank you for dropping in with me on this video, you beautiful soul. Today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about an experience I had yesterday. Um, I did a plant medicine journey and a breathwork journey at once. Yesterday, I, for the first time ever, well, actually I've done it on my own at home a little bit, but never facilitated and guided in such a deeply safe container that I could journey very, very deep. Um, I had a cannabis and breathwork shamanic journey yesterday, and it was beautiful and the reason I wanted to uh, combine those two medicines together is because I find myself moving through um, different seasons as I relate to, as I have a relationship with cannabis and I am working to restructure um, or just understand better my relationship with cannabis, what the medicine really is and why sometimes I use it to escape, which is for me abusing uh, the medicine. And that's when it can become and has become quite addictive for me. It's not the actual medicine itself, the cannabis that's addictive, but it's the, the feeling of um, numbing, the escaping feeling that I get um, when I smoke sometimes. I go through seasons of not smoking anything for a week or two or even a month. But recently, I've been I've been pretty good at that. Recently, I've been pretty disciplined, um, and it's been reflecting in my life. My life has been going better. I've um, been more present. I've been more in my body. I've been less clouded in my mind. Um, I've been more able to uh, have clarity when making decisions in my life and what, and choices, which is what I want um, in my life right now. It's what I need, and so reworking and making uh, making good of my relationship with cannabis has been meaning to take a break really but i want to understand it better so the other day i got really angry at something uh, the anger came up for me frustration and i was like fuck i need to i want to express this anger um and i didn't like i didn't know how to exactly so I booked in a breathwork journey because I know previously when I've done these journeys, um, all the emotions come up and it's a very, very safe space to express whatever kind of expression I want to do, specifically anger, rage, to really let myself rage the fuck out so I can put that bag of rage down and not carry it around with me. And then when things in my life don't go the way I had planned, the bag of rage doesn't come out where I'm like, Arr! and then I make myself a victim, which is disempowering myself. So um, when things go wrong in my life and, and they're ultimately outside of my control, say for example, my laptop stops working and I really need to make a video today, like anger, frustration, that's natural, totally natural. But whether I respond from that or react to it, um, it's like, I have the choice, like, do I let anger take over my day and just put myself in victim mode and be like, well, this is just a shit day? Or do I just, or am I feeling accepting of the things that are outside of my control? So most of the time I'm feeling pretty fucking accepting, but occasionally and more recently, like if something's been throwing me off, then I've been feeling this anger. So I'm like, okay, I wanna go have a breathwork journey, release this anger let it go so that it doesn't, it's not within me and it doesn't come to the table. Yeah, so I went and did um, a breathwork journey. And part of this was about me reworking my relationship with cannabis and understanding it better. Now, the reason I bring up cannabis, apart from the fact that I um, brought it into the breathwork journey, is because my routine and my habit is to, has previously been when I get angry or when things don't go my way or I have a tough day, I'll go home and I'll smoke cannabis and I'll get high and I'll sort of zone out and leave that world behind for a while, which feels great for a bit. But when I'm doing it every single day, not only does it actually interfere with my productivity, how present I can be and um, 
just it doesn't it doesn't really help me my experiences it doesn't really help me i'm not a very functional stoner uh, let's put it that way um and what i've noticed is that i like to get high to avoid emotions that want to come up and be processed and looked at so this is kind of like an update on my relationship with um, my addictions really because it's not just cannabis i do it with food sometimes uh, i do it with instagram that's a very socially acceptable addiction our phones um tobacco i've definitely abused tobacco in the past um there's you can numb out with alcohol watching netflix anything that's switching you off and taking you outside of this present moment and all that it has to offer that's kind of a numbing and i'm not saying that's bad i'm just saying like if we keep doing that over and over and over again it becomes an addiction and for me m one of my addictions was marijuana that was my go-to um, for years now i'm reworking my relationship with marijuana and so I went and had this journey with cannabis to go deep and dance and journey with and understand the spirit of the plant. And my fucking God, it worked, <laughs> like it worked. <laughs> Your. So basically the end result of this experience when it comes to reworking my relationship with marijuana and my addiction to it, the end result is that Santa Maria took me on a fucking deep journey and actually showed me the true potency and potential of the medicine of cannabis. The true deep potent medicine. And yeah, I just have this newfound respect for, for this plant. I don't want to abuse um, the medicine. And this lesson can be taken and put into other plant medicines as well, or any other kind of medicine, anything really. It's like, if you want to get the most from something, don't over consume it, I suppose. Um, and certainly when it comes to um, spiritually activating plant medicines, psychedelics, to respect them, to respect the power of that. If you want to know more about it, I did a 38, 39 minute um, video just like this, where I explained the whole thing and I uploaded it onto my Patreon uh, community. Where it's, that's where I put those kinds of videos and that kind of content that's a little bit more vulnerable. Um, and I explain how I went into the journey expecting to be raging and expressing anger. And although I did, I also had like deep, deep expression of joy and bliss and love and gratitude where tears were streaming down my face. I'm rolling on the floor with laughter. My facilitator was laughing and that's all part of it too. And I explain all of that in the video. So if you're interested, go and check it out. Um, and yeah, if you sign up for the 1111 tribe, you have access to like 30 other videos that I've been uploading about my healing journey and stuff like that um, over the last year or so. Uh, you'll have instant access to all of them. So you can go and check those out. And it's all about like um, sort of my journey of self-development, healing, mental health, just trying to be a better version of myself and also to have a better time here being human. Um, and that's why the mental health side comes into things, comes into it. So yeah, go and check it out. I love you. I hope you guys are having a beautiful time. Thank you for watching my videos recently. And thank you for always just giving me all that algorithm love as well, like thumbs up and leaving comments. I fucking love you guys for doing all of that stuff. It's so it's free for you to do, but it makes a huge difference to how many people actually see my content. Send this video to someone that you might think uh, it would resonate with. If you're enjoying this content, there are multiple ways that you can support me. Firstly, if you really want to support me, buy one of my art prints, my photography prints. There's going to be more on the way. 
uh, benjam.uk is my new website. I've worked really hard on the website. I've got a blog where I'm gonna be uploading um, and writing a little bit as well. Go and buy a print. That is the best way that you can help and support me. And if you wanna support, but you don't wanna put any money in or you can't afford to, that's totally fine. Just hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, share this video with someone. And that's the best way that you can support me. And just by watching, I appreciate you all so much. Have a beautiful day. Um, I'll see you in the next video.